I was really contemplating about making a build for this weapon because it's like, I mean, you do have the Scourge Prime, which is definitely better than this weapon. But some of you probably do use this weapon. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Let's just make a build on it and get it out the way. So, you know. Um, but, however, welcome back to another weapon build video. And today we're going to take a look at the Jav Lock. All right. And uh, basically, like I was just saying, Scourge Prime is better than this weapon. And these two weapons are basically the same. All right. Just one is like a sentient type weapon. It kind of shoots like a sentient weapon. Like weird. It's just weirdly shaped. Alright, if we can find the scourge here. And uh sure no, okay, now it's being just weird, okay? And the scourge, well, that's the prime version. I right, obviously the stats are gonna be very, very different from this. And I'm yeah, very, very different from this. Um, but as we can see, compared to the scourge prime. We'll talk about the draft lock first. We have a charge weight of 30, 3.33 fire rate, magazine is 6. We have a 20% critical chance, 2 times the critical multiplier, and 25% status. We also have heat damage on here. We also have, that's it. And we have the throw, quick shot, quick radio attack, charge radio attack, charge shot, all that, right? For charge shot, we have a 20% critical chance. Same thing as everything. Same thing, everything. Except for a quick shot, which we don't care about because we're never going to use that. Right? Um, so it has a higher critical chance for Javlock. Lower critical chance for Scourge. Prime. Um, larger magazine, which I think I'll take over for has a really insane status not insane but really good status it has not only that it doesn't have heat damage but however we can make it have heat damage so i think i'll take over the scourge prime over the um jab lock because honestly just not really going to use this weapon and it does have a charge rate to it so no i don't like the fact of that it's just pretty weird to me but let's go ahead and take a look at the build. Gavinized Chamber, 80% multi shot on kill, 30% multi shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. So you're stacking at 5 times, 30% multi shot. We have Vital Sense, which is 120% critical damage. We have Vigilante Armament, 60% multi shot. And we have Rhyme Rounds, which is 60% cold and then status chance. Alright. So, this is going to be our build setup. And the next few mods that I've been using on this build is Serration. To increase our damage, we have more Blast damage now because this is a... Well, it is a viral web, viral build. So, this is something I gotta throw on there. But I wanted to talk about that because I'm not using the maxed Malignant Force. I'm using level 1 Malignant Force. Alright, and this is going to bring down my... Heat, I'm sorry, no, viral damage, proccing it. I want more heat to proc than my viral because heat is going to be our main focus to do more damage. And that's where I want to focus on. All right, so that is my main focus, to proc more heat than viral. So that's what I decided to use. Especially this weapon. This weapon it's not that great, even though it has pretty good critical chance, I guess. Not that it's not that good, but it's not that bad, I guess. You know, it just has its little downfalls to it, you know, and and it has a little something I don't like either. Hammer shot we're using as well, sixty percent critical damage and eighty percent status. So yeah, uh, now we got higher status, really good critical multiplier now. Um, okay, and then last mod that I use, like I said, our the charge rate, the fire rate, I don't like a bit, so I threw on vigilante fervor. All right, you guys can replace any mod with this if you don't want that fire rate. If you've been using a jab lock for a long time and you know what you like to use for this build, then go ahead and, you know, take this out. But we have 45% fire rate, all right, and two times for bows. And then you have the 50% chance to enhance 
the critical hits from primary weapons, all right? And now we got a 50% chance to enhance that because we have vigilante armaments on here, all right? And now, since we had the arm, the vigilante mods on, we're going to be doing more uh, the critical hits, all right? So you'll see basically more the... Is it critical? Is it the big critical hits? You'll see a little bit of big critical hits, probably even more. So yeah, we'll we'll be seeing that, okay? And then we have primary merciless as our arcane. Thirty percent uh, damage for four seconds, stacks up to twelve times. Thirty percent reload speed, and then hundred percent ammo maximum. So we're gonna spawn in ten corrupted heavy gunners, and then we're gonna spawn in. I think I'll only spawn in five. You know what? Then we got 15 of those. Because you can also take this up with Corpus. Um, he damage won't benefit you, but the viral will. Because they're not immune to that. But they are immune to he damage a little bit. So yeah. But as you can see, like I, the charge rate is just... Why is it even there? You know? It's kind of stupid to me. But this is why I have... Uh, you know, the Vigilante Vervor mod on. So you're seeing pretty good damage, actually. If only Galvanized Aptitude worked on this build, but it's not because explosion and radio attack, basically, that's what it is. Explosion damage. So, Galvanized Aptitude is not going to work on this build. Basically, the weapon, actually. Like I always put in the primary weapon build, if you use Carry Prime with the Prime Laser Rifle or Super Prime, does not matter. You just need these three mods on. Vigilante Armaments, Offense, and Favor. And once you have those three mods on, you will be able to increase some critical chance for your weapon. So let's go ahead and throw in 10 Cloud Davy Gunners and now 10 Corpus. So we probably might see some good CC in this build. Or for this weapon basically. But yeah, I guess for the build. Yeah, we're seeing some of the uh, big crit critical hits, which are white, by the way. As you can see, some uh, pretty good damage happening as well. So let's talk about a Riven real quick. If you want to get a Riven for this, obviously aim for CC. Um, we can say probably critical damage, multi-shot, um, status maybe? I don't know, status is a little, little, yeah, status. I would say status as well. So, but if you, if you can't all fit that in there, I'll probably just say critical chance, um, not definitely status, and... Probably the multi shot or critical damage. It's up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And if you didn't, then please do not. When taking Javlock to the still path, pretty pretty decent, you know. Like I said before. Um so if you do need the primed anime imitation, the rifle one for this weapon, because this is a rifle, hopefully y'all don't die and I did it. Um yeah, definitely throw down there for the extra slot. Alright, you could put those on the extra slot, but I don't think it's really you're probably not gonna need it. Because it's not really um it's not really dropping our ammo that low. Especially if you're using Prime Merciless. Prime Merciless has a hundred percent ammo max up for you, so that is looking pretty good on your part. And the arcane. So that's benefiting you a lot with ammo. If it is needed, then yeah, most definitely throw on um, your primed rifle mutation. It's going to help you out a lot. But that's all for this video. 
Let me know what you guys think about Javlock in the build in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.